Hello folks, this is Jack with River Cab Blues. Going to do a little uh, controlled drifting today. Semi-controlled drifting actually. I'm not using the trolling motor to uh, keep my speed. I'm just putting drift socks out. We're going to try to slow the boat down. The wind's supposed to pick up pretty good today. Hopefully it won't get too bad. See how that goes. Today I'm running uh, Catfish Ugly Sticks two of them on this side the reel is a cast king recon 20 uh, my boys use that one a lot I decided to bring it out here put it up against an old vintage reel right here this was my dad's reel I believe he bought it in the late 60s it's an Ocean City 923c that's an old reel but I've uh, rebuilt it got new drag system in it I really like fishing with it mainly because it was my dad's but uh, they're good reels they were made in the USA marked a few fish coming across this flat the channel is out here in front of me quite a ways across the channel getting out to this flat saw a couple fish in the channel that didn't look too bad so we're gonna try to drift over the channel when we get there there's some smaller fish out in this area We'll see if we can't pick up two or three of those as we drift toward the channel i think we might hook up with a decent fish today hopefully i saw them there, there was several decent fish out here just on that side of that channel not very far from it they were in the flat 14 15 foot of water the channel drops pretty deep so i'm hoping after we cross over that channel we're going to get into those fish that i saw so let's see how it goes today Gonna be out here several hours if the wind don't get too bad. Small aluminum boat again today. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I think we got that fish. I'm gonna turn this boat. He's not a real big one at all, but we'll take him. Boat's turning back now. Get him up here and crank him. There we go back again. All right, still got him a coming. There he is up on top. I'm just gonna bring him across there. Come on in, buddy. Okay. Put him in my tub. And put my glasses on. First fish. Not bad. All right. Now I'll kind of show you what I'm using. It's usually basically the same thing I have been for the last few videos. Uh, just a piece of cut bait. You can use a skipjack, shad, whatever, whatever you want. Bluegill, doesn't matter. Also using today a tackling cat circle hook. I really like these. Tacklingcast.com. Check those out. Really, really good hooks. I think we have an eagle claw on the other side. Uh, I'm going to put a different piece of bait on. That one's kind of chewed up a little bit we'll let them have that one we'll put another piece of bait on and get back out there Line's going slack. Yeah, 
I got a little one on here. Got a little one on here. I'm gonna run this air control motor. Nothing big at all, but he's a fish. We definitely will get him in here and see what he looks like. He comes straight to the boat on the old Cast King. Get him a little closer, I'll get back here with him. Just trying to keep the boat straight so that other rod will pull right behind the boat. Like I said, he ain't very big. Not too big. I'm almost there. I think I might be able to get up here now. There he comes. There we go. We're definitely looking for something a little bigger than this. But second fish been out here a little while we'll definitely uh, take some more of these too all right that's right leftover Domino's pizza from watching the game last night anybody watch Baylor and Gonzaga go at it last night that's what I thought I don't drink coffee, but I sure tear this stuff up. Can't go fishing without this, people. Big, big fish, but he's not bad. Not bad. He's not pulling any drag. I'm gonna try to turn this one more time, that boat one more time.
maybe if I can hold on to him. Sliming up my shirt. There he is. Not bad. Not bad. He's already gone. decent little fish. I don't know how big he was. I didn't weigh him. So we're going to make another run. Uh, I come across that uh, flat I was telling you about. Just went across the channel. Just started up the other side of it. He was right on the edge. Whew. Really getting some wind out here, folks. About 10, 15 more minutes. I'm out of here. Bitty one. I'd fall out boat here though. Better fall out of the dead gun boat. Stir. Let's try this. Go ahead and turn this loose. Try to get him over here. I get this one in, we're done. It's, it's just getting too rough out here. I got my life jacket on. But I don't want to fall out of the boat even with my life jacket on. I got three drift socks. I gotta try to get this fish through. That may not work out too well. I get him a little closer, I'm gonna stand up. Just try to reel him right over the top of everything. He's kinda of coming to the side. We'll see if we can keep him coming over there. That'd be nice. He stay over here. through all three drift socks. out here to the barn this morning put the boat up last night there's the one we were using 
yesterday with the uh, little aluminum boat here. This is the bigger javelin fiberglass boat that we use for catfishing. I've just got it all set up. Um, these rod holders right here are fish bite rod holders. They're, they're a really, really good rod holder. I've used these for years. Uh, he makes different uh, designs. This is another one by Fish Bite. F I S H B I T E. Fish Bite rod holders. He makes the T bars too. I really like them. They're very sturdy. Ain't going nowhere. Anyway. Of course, these here, we all know what these are, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. We all know what these are. Ain't even going to talk about them because we, uh, <laughs> we already know how good they are, right? Well, if you don't, check these out. Monster rod holders. I'm telling you. Awesome. All right, I am going to get this uh, set up for the reels. We're going to talk about the recons today. I had a helper in here. I got my drift socks up here. They're uh, they're drying out. Where's my helper, Keisha? Hey, you my helper today? <laughs> yeah. Are you my helper today? <laughs> uh, I'd like to take you fishing, but you just don't like the water, huh? You just don't like the water. All right. Okay, I'm going to get, uh, hopefully them drift socks will dry all right. A little muddy too, but I think they'll be all right. We're going to talk about the recons today. The very good reels for the money. I'm going to get them out here and uh, let's go to it. Are you going to help, Keish? Keisha, are you going to help? <laughs> all right. Okay. Let's go ahead and start with the Recon 20. In case you can't read this, it's 5, 3 to 1 on the gear ratio. 3 plus 1 ball bearings. Your line capacity is right there. 420 yards of 20 pound. 330 yards of 25 pound. I'm assuming that's mono. I have braid on this. Of course, you've got your line counter right here. Just reset it there. And they work pretty decent. I mean, like I said, we've, we've used these uh, for about almost two years. Okay, this is the Recon 10. Uh, the gear ratio on this is 5.1 to 1. You can read that. It's 3 plus 1 ball bearings again. Here's your line capacity. Hopefully you can read that. 15 pounds, 300 yards of 15 pounds, 255 yards of 20 pounds. Again, it's got the line counter too. Just push your little button here. Just change it. Now this one, uh, this one has the power handle. Got the power handle on this one, the bigger one, the 20. And then uh, this is an oversized handle. It's, it's bigger than most of your Boo Garcia's as far as length, but uh, you could probably put a power handle on this one if you wanted to. They work good on uh, the line releases. The clicker right here. Loud clicker. Both of them have clickers. One of the loudest clickers I've heard. I mean, they are very loud clickers. So, I mean... You can kind of decide. Um, as far as putting one of these up against an Abu Garcia or a Daiwa, you know, I I don't know. I'm I, I know which one I would probably prefer if I was going to use one uh, to go for large, large catfish. 
year after year after year, but I don't know. We've had these for two years, not one single problem yet, maybe never. And the price, the price is right. Is the price right? <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's, uh, that's about all I got. You don't need none of, none of my reels. Don't you be eating my reels. You gonna, you gonna eat my reel? <laughs> anyway, that's about all I've got on, uh, on the recons. I'm gonna continue to use them once in a while. I got no issues with these reels. So uh, pick one up, try it out. If they don't work for you, go get an Abu Garcia, go get a Daiwa, go fishing. Rivercat Blues, rods down. <laughs>